Welcome to Deep Dive. This podcast is brought to you by Liminal Martech. Liminal is the first Portuguese company specialized in strategic consulting and marketing operations. If you want to grow your business and deliver better customer experiences with marketing technologies such as HubSpot, Salesforce, or Zoho CRM, go to www.liminal.pt and find out how. All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're tackling something that I think is both fascinating and a little bit intimidating. Artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. or AI. Oh. But before you picture robots taking over the world, mm -hmm. we're going to look at how AI is actually being used right now by companies in all sorts of industries. It's way more down to earth than you might think. That's right. We're not talking about science fiction scenarios here. This is about real world applications that are already changing the way businesses operate and how we live our lives. And to help us unpack all of this, we've got excerpts from a book called Artificial Intelligence in Practice. Uh. It profiles over 50 companies using AI in ways that, honestly, Blew my mind. I mean, Coca-Cola, Domino's Pizza, we'll get to those in a bit. Uh, the so first, we, okay. I think it's important to lay some groundwork. Absolutely. One of the things that struck me about the book's introduction was a quote from Sergey Brin, the president of Alphabet, who called AI um, okay. the most significant development in computing in his lifetime. And this is coming from the guy who helped create Google. So that tells you something about the potential impact we're talking about. Wow. <laughs> That's a bold statement. Okay, so clearly AI is a big deal. But what exactly does it mean in practice? How does this book define AI? Well, the book really stresses the practical side of AI. It's not just about the hype. It's about how machines are being given the ability to learn and adapt from experience, almost like humans do. So it's not just about programming a computer with a set of rules anymore. Exactly. The book distinguishes between what's called rule-based AI and machine learning. Rule-based AI is like giving a computer a very specific recipe to follow. If this happens, then do that. But as things get more complex, it's almost impossible to write down every single rule. That's where machine learning comes in. Okay. I'm intrigued. So how does this machine learning thing work? Imagine you're teaching a child to recognize a cat. You wouldn't give them a list of every single detail. You'd no. show them pictures of different cats, and they'd start to pick up on the patterns and features that make a cat a cat. Oh, I see. So with machine learning, you're basically feeding a computer tons of data and letting it figure out the rules on its own. That's pretty amazing. It is. And what's really powerful is that the more data these algorithms are exposed to, the smarter they get. They can start to make predictions and decisions that are even more accurate than humans in some cases. All right. I think we've got a good grasp on the basics now. But let's get to those mind-blowing examples. The book covers some of the biggest names in tech, like Google, Amazon, and Facebook. I mean, mm. those guys are practically synonymous with AI at this point. Right. They're certainly leading the charge in many ways. And the book highlights some truly fascinating applications. Take Google, for example. They're using AI for everything from making appointments with Google Duplex. Hey, you, Google can make appointments for you. They can. Duplex is this AI that can actually call businesses and book appointments, like at a hair salon or a restaurant. It even uses natural language and little pauses to sound just like a human on the phone. That's incredible. It sounds so futuristic. It is pretty wild. Yeah. But it also shows how AI is starting to handle tasks that we used to think only humans could do. And that's just one example from Google. They're also using AI to understand what we mean when we search online with Rank Brain. So... It's not just about typing in keywords anymore. Right. Rank Brain is constantly learning from billions of searches and trying to figure out the intent behind what people are looking for. It's like having a super smart research assistant built into Google search. Okay. I can see how that would make search results way more accurate. And speaking of making things better, I read that Google is even using AI to detect eye diseases, which is incredible. It is. Their AI algorithms can analyze images of the retina and identify signs of disease that might be missed by a human doctor. That's a potential game changer for early diagnosis and treatment. Wow. Okay. So Google is clearly all over this AI thing. Mm -hmm. What about Amazon? They're not just an online store anymore, are they? Definitely not. Their whole business model is built on data and AI. One really fascinating example is their use of AI-powered robots in their fulfillment centers. Oh, yeah. Those robots are crazy. I've seen videos of them zipping around the warehouses, mm -hmm. picking out products. It's like a perfectly choreographed dance. It really is. Those robots are incredibly efficient, and they're constantly learning how to navigate the warehouse and optimize their movements. That must be a huge cost saver for Amazon. Uh, and I bet their recommendation engine uses AI, too. Right. You know? That thing that suggests products you might like based on your browsing history. Absolutely. Their recommendation engine is a prime example of what's called deep learning. 
It analyzes huge amounts of data to figure out your preferences and predict what you might want to buy next. It's sometimes a little too accurate, isn't it? <laughs> I know. It's like they're reading my mind sometimes. But that's the power of AI. It can personalize our experiences in ways that were never possible before. Okay. So we've got Google and Amazon using AI in some pretty amazing ways. But what about Facebook? I feel like they're a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to AI. It's true. Facebook has been at the center of some controversies surrounding AI, especially when it comes to things like facial recognition and data privacy. Yeah. Those are definitely some ethical issues to think about. Absolutely. But the book also highlights how Facebook is using AI to tackle some really important problems, like combating cyberbullying and identifying potentially suicidal users. Wow. It's a big responsibility. How does that even work? Their AI algorithms can analyze text and even images to detect patterns that might indicate harmful behavior. They're not perfect, but not... they can flag things that might be missed by human moderators. So it's like having an extra set of eyes looking out for people who might be in danger. That's right. And it shows how AI can be used for social good as well. Okay. So we've covered three of the biggest players in the AI game. But the book also profiles a bunch of companies you might not expect to be using AI. And that's what's so exciting about this. It's not just the tech giants anymore. AI is becoming accessible to companies of all sizes and industries. I'm definitely ready to hear more about those unexpected AI applications. You've piqued my curiosity. All right, let's take Coca-Cola, for instance. You wouldn't necessarily think of them as a cutting-edge tech company, would you? No, uh, not really. Yes. I mean, they make delicious sugary drinks. But AI... That's not the first thing that comes to mind. Get this. They're using AI-powered vending machines. These machines don't just dispense drinks. They analyze customer behavior. They track what's selling well, at what times, and even in what weather conditions. That's pretty clever. I guess if you have that much data, you can start to predict what people want and tailor your offerings accordingly. Exactly. They can use that information to develop new drinks, adjust pricing, and even target their marketing more effectively. It's all about using AI to make data-driven decisions. I bet that data is pure gold for a company like Coca-Cola. Talk about market research on steroids. Okay, so <laughs> Coca-Cola is using AI to understand their customers better. What other surprising examples did you find? Well, how about Domino's Pizza? I read it for this. Domino's? Seriously, what are they doing? Using AI to perfect the pepperoni placement. You're not far off. They're actually using AI for quality control, making sure each pizza meets their standards, but it goes beyond that. They're also using AI to predict order times more accurately and even experiment with autonomous delivery robots. Wait, delivery robots? Like little robots bringing me my pizza? That's straight out of a sci-fi movie. It might sound futuristic, but they're already testing these robots in some areas. Think about it, faster deliveries, potentially lower costs, and maybe even fewer traffic accidents. This is a win-win. I guess if anyone was going to embrace pizza delivering robots, it would be Domino's. They've always been pretty innovative. Okay. You've convinced me. AI is popping up in the most unexpected places. What other industries are being transformed by AI? Let's talk about fashion. Burberry, the luxury brand, is using AI to create a more personalized shopping experience in their stores. Burberry. The company with those iconic trench coats. <laughs> How does AI fit into that world? They're using AI to tailor recommendations to individual shoppers. Imagine walking into a Burberry store, and the sales associate knows exactly what you've bought before, what your stale preferences are, and can suggest items that perfectly match your taste. Wow, that would be pretty amazing. It's like having a personal stylist but powered by AI. I could see how that would make the whole shopping experience feel much more luxurious and exclusive. Exactly. It's about using AI to elevate the customer experience and build loyalty. These examples are really eye-opening. It seems like every industry is finding ways to use AI to their advantage. But all this talk about robots and automation makes me wonder about the future of work. Are we all going to be replaced by robots? It's a question a lot of people are asking. And the book tackles this head on in the chapter on Unilever. Unilever, the consumer goods giant. What are they doing with AI? They're using AI to streamline their hiring process. They're even using AI powered games and chatbots to assess candidates. AI powered games for job interviews. That sounds intense. It is a new approach. I mean, but the idea is that these games can assess a candidate's skills and personality traits in a more objective way. I can see how that could be efficient. But it also makes me a little uneasy. Job interviews are supposed to be about human connection. Right. 
That's a valid point. And the book stresses that AI shouldn't replace human judgment entirely. It's about finding the right balance. It's about using AI to augment our capabilities, not eliminate the human element. So it's not about humans versus AI, but humans working alongside AI. Exactly. It's about collaboration and finding ways to use AI as a tool to enhance our own skills and make deaf decisions. That makes me feel a bit better. But let's be honest, some jobs are going to be displaced by AI. Right. There's no denying that certain tasks that are repetitive or easily automated are likely to be taken over by machines. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean the end of work as we know it. It just means the nature of work will evolve. So, the message is, don't fear AI, but be prepared to adapt and learn new skills. Precisely. AI is a powerful tool. And like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. It's up to us to shape its future and ensure it's used ethically and responsibly. Well said. We've covered a lot of ground here from AI giants to lesser known companies yeah. across various industries. And it's clear that AI is already having a profound impact on our world. It's true. And it's only gonna become more prevalent in the years to come. I think this deep dive has given us a lot to think about, both in terms of the possibilities and the potential challenges of AI. What are your final thoughts on this? The book doesn't shy away from the ethical considerations surrounding AI. It emphasizes the importance of using AI responsibly and being mindful of potential biases. It's a reminder that even though AI can do amazing things, it's still a tool created by humans, and it reflects our own values and biases. That's a powerful point. So even as we marvel at the advancements in AI, we need to be asking ourselves some tough questions about how we want to use this technology and what kind of future we want to build with it. It feels like we've only just scratched the surface of this AI thing. It's true. AI is such a vast and rapidly evolving field. There's always something new to learn. This deep dive has definitely opened my eyes to the possibilities. But I also have to admit, I'm a little bit apprehensive about the future. I think that's a healthy reaction. It's important to approach AI with a sense of both wonder and caution. The book actually ends with a really thought-provoking question. It talks about how companies are using AI, but it asks, how will AI change the power dynamics between individuals and institutions in the future? That's a question we all need to be grappling with. AI has the potential to empower individuals, giving us access to information and tools like never before. But it also has the potential to concentrate power in the hands of a few, especially if those who control the AI don't have our best interests at heart. Exactly. That's why it's crucial to have open and honest conversations about AI, to consider the ethical implications, and to make sure it's developed and used in a way that benefits all of humanity. So what can we do as individuals to make sure AI is used for good? I think the first step is to educate ourselves, to understand how AI works, and to be aware of its potential impact on our lives. And to speak up to voice our concerns, and to demand that AI is developed ethically and responsibly. Absolutely. We all have a role to play in shaping the future of AI. Well, this has been an incredible deep dive. I feel like I've learned so much, but I also have a lot more to learn. Me too. And that's the exciting thing about AI. It's a journey of continuous learning and discovery. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today. This has been a truly illuminating conversation. It's been my pleasure. And to our listeners, I hope this deep dive has given you a better understanding of the real-world impact of AI. It's a powerful technology, and it's up to all of us to ensure it's used for the betterment of humanity. And that's our deep dive for today. Remember, go to www.liminal.ptt if you want to know how to grow your business with MarTech.